All right. Next up, we have the Sleep Master. Now, the Sleep Master comes highly, highly recommended from a blog that I read um, from a triathlon trainer and nutrition coach, and actually, I don't even know what you would call Ben Greenfield anymore. Pretty much everything. He's kind of like a guru. The guy's forgotten more about nutrition and health than I'll probably ever learn. So anyway, he recommends this sleep mask or sleep mask like there's no tomorrow, like it's the best thing on the planet. Unfortunately, well, how do I get into the pros and cons? I can see why he recommends it so well. The, the biggest pro of this is how comfortable it is. This is the most comfortable sleep mask that I've ever put on my head. The second pro is that it has a lot of thick padding in here on the side, and the way that it wraps around your face and covers your ears even if you don't wear earplugs, there's automatic sound dampening built in just because of that fact. The number three thing, which is the biggest pro of this mask, is that because of the material that it's made out of and the way that it's set up, when you sleep with this sucker on, it doesn't matter if you're a back sleeper, a side sleeper, or whatever. You can roll over with this thing. It doesn't come off. It doesn't dig into your face. It's very soft and supple. If you're a female and you don't mind, well, let me get to the cons in a second. The reason why I can't use this mask if you're a female, you'll love the feel of this mask. It's very, very, very soft. It's very comfortable. The most comfortable sleep mask I've ever put on. Now, let's get to the cons. The number one con, and the reason why I can't sleep in this, I've tried three nights in a row, or not in a row, but three different times to sleep in this. Gardener, landscaping? Hopefully, hopefully you guys can't hear that, that giant tractor or lawnmower. Anyway. Um, the reason that I can't sleep with this is because there's no indentations for the eyelids. So the number one thing that I look for in a sleep mask is uh, no light leakage, which this does 100% A-grade job. There's zero light leakage with this sucker. Maybe if you have a funny shaped nose, you might get a little bit around the bridge, but you can tell by the way that it sits on the nose and how soft and supple it is, it conforms to your face like nobody's business. But without having the eye cups or recessed um, indentations for your eyes to sit in there. If you're in REM sleep, or if you're trying to fall asleep and you do it with your eyes open and you usually like to stare into darkness, which is what I do, um, you have fabric touching your eyelids the entire time. And I can't sleep like that. It drives me absolutely crazy. And if I'm in deep REM sleep or if I'm taking a nap and I hit REM really quick and your eyes start to blink like crazy, when you feel stuff on your eyelid, it, it, for me, it wakes me up. So unfortunately, I want to love this mask so bad. If they would make another model and it just had recessed eyelid area, this would be the best sleeping mask on the market. If you're a side sleeper and you can tolerate, you know, a soft, silky eye mask touching your eyes, this is the best eye mask you're ever going to find, hands down. Um, other than that, there are no pro or there are no other cons that I could find. This is an awesome sleep mask. I actually thought about maybe. Uh, I don't know if I still have one. Uh, there's another Dream Essentials, um, I call it the Batman style mask, but it's basically like a thin black thing and it just has cutouts for the eyes like uh, cups. I thought about doubling up on these suckers, basically putting that one on to give me that uh, depth, and I might actually try that, and then putting this one on and wrapping my head around it to give me that soundproofing and the, um, the actual 100% uh, blackout, like light blockage. So I hope that helps. I don't know if, um, you know, I think you'd have a similar experience. I had really high hopes for this Sleep Master mask because, um, you know, Ben Greenfield recommends it so highly. And I can understand why he does. I, I can't understand how people can sleep with stuff touching their eyelids, though. Because it's basically like if you shut your eyes right now and you just softly lay your hands over your eyes and then keep your eyelids closed but move your eyes. You can feel like it's just weird to me. I can't get used to the sensation and I don't sleep like that. But unfortunately, hope, hopefully, if anybody knows about something out there that's like this, that has uh, indentations or recessed areas for your eyes to blink, man, let me know because I want to buy like a hundred of these suckers because this is the only sleep mask that I've ever put on where you can toss and turn or sleep on your side and it doesn't matter. It doesn't dig into your face. It doesn't plop off. It doesn't flatten out like when it touches, when it digs into the pillow, when you're laying on your side. Awesome, awesome, awesome for that. Sleep Masker, or Sleep Master Mask, you've done a great job with this sucker. Make one with eye indentations, please.